We simply have to focus on this man. In a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts, will he add more today on EA TV? Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we're just minutes away from kickoff in the final game of the season. It's Hannover and they take on Jan Regensburg. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. It's had absolutely everything. Drama at both ends of the table, spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment too. The players need to finish the season off strongly. We're looking forward to a great game here. The atmosphere is fantastic. Here's the starting 11 for Hannover. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. <laughs> And so the match is underway. Obliakov. Johnston. Miner. He's lost it. Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. Obliakov. And snuffing out the danger. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. What a terrific position to be in, Lee. Oh, it's brilliant. I remember back in 98, we won it with two to go and then got smashed by Liverpool 4-0 at Anfield. Safe to say we weren't... On... Oh, what an opportunity! Can they keep it out? Well, it came to nothing in the end. News of a goal on the Union match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Karlsruhe. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Michael Johnston. Can they get... He's in with a chance. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Good physical play.
And let's join Alan McAnally now because I understand there's been a goal in the Nuremberg game. Alan. It's a goal for Nuremberg. He's in behind. Still a chance. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And the result of all that is a goal. That's all that matters. The scrappy finish will not register with him at all. They all count. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. A second goal for them here. Well, we never like cutting off Alan McAnally, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons. For clarification, Nuremberg did score in that game, and it's now even Steven, 1 1. Christoph Moritz, a creative look about this. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Charles de Ketelare. Hanover certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Lovely ball over the top. Zala. And Bezushkov has it. And getting the ball forward over the byline. Hence a goal kick. Johnston. He's given it straight to the opposition. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Ingolstadt. 32 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Michael Johnston. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Max Vezushkov. A ball with Moritz. It looks promising. Can he put it away? And this time it's in! Fabulous goal, 
And just look at the celebrations. Well, it's really top-class play. Huge amount of work on the training ground in order to drill a team to be this capable of carrying out pressing football like this. Top draw. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Well, they keep the ball moving. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Running room in the wide position. A chance to whip it in. And the keeper more than equal to it. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Played into the centre of the box. Well, it has come to nothing. Now, tremendous block. Can he finish? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Over it comes. It didn't happen for them. Cuts it back. Chance here. A really high quality save. Well, it's all about concentration. Goalkeepers can go so long without doing anything. Look at that stretch. Corner kick played in. And the header so near. Well, he's in a great position. Technique's pretty good, but he just hits the woodwork. That is that for the first half here. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game in attack, Lee. Well, shot after shot, he sent goal bound, as we can see. Keeper must be really sick and tired of him. Keeps picking the ball out of the net as well. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Can they get in behind them? Dangerous looking attack. Can he take advantage? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box and he's never going to miss that. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. Christoph Moritz. Oh, he's given the ball away. Plenty of options. He's in with a chance. A goal! Attacking football at its finest. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right. Head down, back of the net. Christoph Moritz. George. 
Now they're on the scent of something positive. And dribbling with it, but out of play. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Schalke. 56 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Otto with it. And Bezushkov has it. And given away. Minor. Well, he's given us away. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Could play it in. Delivered into the box. Still not clear. Is this the moment? And I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Spielerwechsel bei Jan Lebenskopf. Nicht mehr auf dem Platz. Die Nummer 9, Jan George. Neu dabei, die Nummer 15, Federico Palacios. Now can they create something? Oh, surely. Oh, there it is. It's one goal after another. And it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And it all leads to a 2v1 on the keeper, which he really doesn't have any chance with. It's a great team goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Ein Durchsage für Horst Würfel. Horst Würfel, Sie werden gebeten, sich an Eingang 14 zu melden. Ich wiederhole. Christoph Moritz. Bitte an Eingang 14 melden. Danke. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Minor. Obliakov. Can they get in behind them? Sends it back. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. And space to exploit, maybe. It's there for him. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Well, pressing really high. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a third goal for Ingolstadt. 76 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Obliakov. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed on pen. The ref didn't know. He's enjoying space. Played towards the back post. Federico Palacios Martinez. Chance to finish. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Oh, a superb save. And still a chance. Another time for cool heads. Well, we're all looking at the forwards to win games. I'm telling you now, goalkeepers win games too. What a save. Obliakov. Charles de Ketelare. Minor. 
Well, they've lost the ball. I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Union game. Alan? It's a second goal for Union Berlin. Four minutes remain. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And a double substitution it's going to be. Max Vesushkov moving it forward. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. One minute remaining. Real chance. It has to be, surely. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. And there it is, the final whistle, and it's a victory for the home side. They're going to be happy with this result, Lee. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game, and they were certainly that today. Sharp, clinical, and exciting to watch for sure.